I'm Tommy G, and today we're taking an inside look into Murderville. Just How is Tommy this certified, baby? Right? Being every hood, he being every city. They got big drink questions. They know what time it is. It's not copyrighted. What's up with you, man? I got you out here in the trenches, out here in the desert, huh? Thanks for joining us on Fox 10 News at noon. The city of Phoenix and cities all across the country reporting an alarming increase of gun violence. Gun violence. Gun related crime. Violence in Phoenix. Three separate shootings. Oh, what, what area is, is, is Phoenix? Three young men in West Phoenix. Ten people were shot. Is this Phoenix? Uh, it's not. Showing I got a friend that lives in Phoenix. Killings compared to last year. I've always been fascinated by outlaws. People who choose to live their life in a dangerous and reckless fashion. Gun violence in America seems to be on an upward trend in most of our major cities. It's so I true. touched down in Phoenix, Arizona, and had gun to violence is definitely up everywhere for sure. Hey, we're just about to leave the Airbnb. We'll be like this 25 minutes right. away. It's good. Let me know. Cool. All right, we'll see you very soon. He's got his grills in, which to me so shows that people have prepared properly for a good video. So let's hit the streets, boy. I got some Henny in my cup. Well, <laughs> coffee. Yeah. I'm trying to be trolling, man. <laughs> I would think he's drinking it. They just be trolling all the time. Say he do got lean and stuff. And oh, stuff. yeah, there's a fucking squadron, I think. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Is that, the, is that the cop sitting outside? Get her down, boys. How you guys doing? Yeah, Murderville, boy. Does they call Murderville? Murderville? Yep. Phoenix, boy. They sitting outside like GTA RP. <laughs> hey, that's really, really you know, niggas really just sitting outside like GTA RP, bro. That's crazy. Here. Oh gang. Oh gang. Oh gang. Oh, gang. <laughs> Should we go in like a convoy to the next block or what? You wanna go over there? Whatever you wanna do, we're going with you, so. Alright, we'll walk the block then. Come on. Let's walk this bitch. And is Arizona a state that <laughs> you, like can, you don't gotta worry bro. about it? We can walk with this bitch, they can pull up on us, we good. Really? Oh, my mom, what, good. what happened over there? Right guys? there. I don't know. Right there, I can't speak about that. <laughs> they be trying to like lay up right here, but I don't let that happen. I come and burn shit or something. And so, G, I know you wear a lot of hats for what you do. I know you're a rapper. You burn out homeless people's yeah, beds. I, I, I Is that what you just said? Real block, baby. Real certified member. Yeah. Yeah. Phoenix Street. So what the fuck you mean? I'm my mama. That's where it's at, right? Yeah, that's crazy. Oh, okay. Every place, every you guys place got hoods, bro. Gun, I can get a 71 every up here or something hood. like that. Want to have to. So you could have... You could have chosen to be anything in the world. What made you say, hey, I want to be in the streets? I, I, I was born in shame. Me acting, faking, me fucking, just how we live. It's everyday, day to day basis. You feel me? Seeing shit crazy. Every Being grew up on that shit. I grew up on this block. Right, right, right. 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 And we be outside, not inside. Uh, we always outside, not I'm inside. Always always outside. Money. He look young, I'm but he got that fat ass beard. Guy, boy. I grew up right here. Is that a mask or something? 7149. That's my old like 19 and 35 at the same time. So when you guys roll this deep, what do you think the neighbors are thinking right now? Oh, they're not thinking shit, but we're they, they, we all, we always been outside. I can tell y'all a little story when I was in jail. <laughs> you said they're not thinking shit. You don't even know shit. about that. I ain't <laughs> talked to you about that. Nigga did like four years. You feel me? When I was youngin', 14 and shit. 15, 16, 17. Came home when I was 18 type shit. You know, so I've been home for two years. You feel me? 20 years old now. But when I was locked up, dude that lived across the street from me was a teacher in there. So when I was in that bitch, he was a teacher, so my f was always on the phone telling his little stories about my family and some old shit when we was in that. He was all, always looking out for me and some old shit. How important is it, do you think, to have mm -hmm. mentors and like men that are showing you the way, like leading the pack? So it's, to speak. it's important because I got, I got like, I got like a lot of uh, rappers. You feel me? That want to with me, but they big. You feel me? And they give me a lot of advice with this. Like a lot of advice. What's the me? best advice you've gotten from rappers? Stay focused and stay on your grind. I mean, if you a rapper out here in AZ, just gotta, you know, this is the trenches too, you know. He, at, he's this pop, is the west side right here. I mean, we come from the west, side the south, Phoenix. and the east side, so we I'm, on all I'm, sides. I'm, I'm, so you try and do your most to have peace amongst other yeah, people. Yeah, for sure. Because like, I would imagine that's a stressful part of the street life is to have beefs. I would never want to have beefs. There's still, there's still a lot of beefs, there's still a lot, a lot of problems, beef. but I mean, at the end of the day, they know what the consequences are if they do. He's, it is what yeah, it is. Know what the hey, I'm a mama, somebody coming from, I'm blowing them back. Wanna know why? It's fact. In this day, somebody try to. I, I can tell it's faster than him. We got the. Me, I'm a black man. He got the Phoenix. Tell me, I'm gonna get away with that. State shit. outline on his neck. They, they goofy that they try to f with me. I keep one on me everywhere I go, and they know that. He said, he said, cut him, tell him, oh. Arm robberies. <laughs> Tie him up, up. What did you rob? 
everybody. Oh, oh just people, not like everybody. a person? Huh? Nah, nah just... peoples and shit, like armed robbers and shit. Street life, street life mean to you guys? Street life, nigga? Yeah. It's regular life to me, nigga. What do you mean? We out here. Like, do you think you would hate it if you had some boring office job? <laughs> yeah, nigga, this shit's exciting to me, nigga. Yeah, yeah, do no 9 to 5 game. I get a bad f***ing, boy. So what's your dream with the rap shit? Yeah, you going a long way. This, this shit, regular. Oh, trying to pull. I, I'm, a, I, I'm, like, I'm not up next. I'm up now. You feel me? Yeah, the That's MCM the back though. Everybody, they up next. I'm not up next. I'm up now, nigga. You feel me? So I'm on their ass. I'm on their neck. If anyone's got acapella verses they want to spit too, just spit that shit. Camera's always there. You know I'm deep in the grass. Hell no, you ain't getting no pass. And I'm setting these streets no mask. Four five, I up and blast. Hot up is your dime. The play that I'm doing the crime. They ask if I'm good, they know I'm alright. Man, get that guy. Ellie band aid on his face. You want to have kids one day? I be thinking about that, shit, but that's stressful. Alright, you gotta be with that motherfucker from one to eighteen. If you ain't gonna be a deadbeat, oh, bro. And then after that, oh, bro, you got you gotta stay with your kids after eighteen, oh, bro. My they gotta make some. Game, game, How'd you bro. come up with that name? Take his shit. Take his shit. Take How do you feel if someone tries to take your shit? He gonna get He gonna get blamed. It's gonna be bad for them, but they're gonna be bad for us. It's gonna be bad for us. Big ass fit, yo. And then they got a drink on his pocket. Everybody got it. That's tough. Big blicks everywhere. We just deep. Are you alive? Is, it, is Arizona open carry? I think it is. Y'all don't see this. I think you're alive. Most important things you've learned running the streets. Shit. Stay loyal. You stay true. Keep your head on a swivel. Do you hear me? Hey, don't not don't think with your dick. What happens oh. if you think with your dick? Don't get, don't get your, your ass, ass shot. Because <laughs> both of you guys have pieces that are religious. <laughs> yeah. What does yeah. religion mean to you? you gotta pray oh. sometimes uh, that we I make it out. This shit. I was raised up on this shit. That's that's one of the biggest goals to get out of the hood. You know what I'm saying? Stay intimate. Let them know. Cause it's, it's oh, dangerous yeah. out here, my boy. You know what I'm saying? Just to get out every day, drive. And look behind your back, you know what I'm saying? You gotta work with the cops, you gotta worry about the beef. That shit crazy out here. They be shooting the sign because they can't dump at me or hit me. So they, they hit the sign like goofy. I guess they're the they they hit the sign, sign like goofy. Sometimes the rap music, rappers talk about women like they're pieces of shit. <laughs> Why do you think that is? Because they are married and I love them. Man, come on, the hoes outside. Oh, sluts, bro. Hey, look, from out here, look, 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 look at it. Now, look, I ain't even gonna say that because you got a wife. I ain't trying to get you in trouble. You can tell so listen, you are, yeah. I ain't gonna lie. If you ever had to eat like a real a eat, real eat, like you know the bitch got a man, but every time you call her, she gonna eat that motherfucker, you gonna know why the bitch ain't shit. That's why. You gotta lie. That's why. shit, real eat. Eating it all day. What's going on? What's happening, big dog? Tell us about right, this area. Tell us about it. You know, a lot of shit going on around this motherfucker. Besides the same old shit, we got the zombies walking out this motherfucker. The zombies are the homeless. The zombies are the on the, on the fat now. So if you were mayor, what would you do about the homeless issue? What I would do, I would try to uh, open up more little spots for, for them. You know what I mean? Try to get them sober. Try to get them jobs. Try to get them on their feet. You know what I mean? This neighborhood right here, back in the day, it was a lot of, you know, shit going on. Real shit. Wow, you know, you know what I mean? Gigi's the youngest one representing the hood. You know what I mean? His pop sin, he was doing his thing back in the day, still doing his thing, but like it, it, it's it's more than just being in the streets now. You know what I mean? We getting older. We trying to really make shit happen. You know what I mean? Making LLCs, trying to create businesses out here, trying to get up out this motherfucker. Like we still in the trenches. Is that a lot in the hood? Yeah, yeah it is the trenches. That's the lot. Hey, we finna get you some corn. You want some? Yes. Boy, sabroso. Tengo hambre. <laughs> That's ice cream truck. They can put up some corn. Hey, you guys see ice cream truck? Don't support him for real. And leave him a tip. Oh, I'm good. Good. How you guys doing today? I'm fucked the hood. Just know that. Hey, <laughs> shit, he said. Mm. <laughs> some local cuisine, right, no, they're man. They're yeah, this is good. Some, some good shit. Mm. Are extendo clips legal in Arizona? Yeah. 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 yeah you got a drum too. Come on. <laughs> really? It's yeah, legal in Arizona. You can have that. That's what really? I figured. Like, really, but they just got it in your pocket. Care about locked up. Man, that shit sucks because I know what it feel like to be there. Uh -huh. You feel me? I know what the fuck it feel like. That were, shit sucks. Were you in jail when it was Tent City where you had to live outside? Yeah, my nigga, they took my hey, brother from me, about that, though? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What was that like? Pop! Pop! Dad. Pop! Dad. Pop know that about shit. that. He gon I'll let my pop talk about that. He in the car yeah, right now. Cool. So guys, for a reference, there used to be a sheriff named Joe Pyro that had a very... Joe, that? 
Yo, pal. <laughs> he had these extremely strict and horrible prison conditions where he made people live outside. Yeah. He made them wear like pink jumpsuits. Pink jumpsuits. Uh -huh. pink, pink we, we, we niggas, they trying to make to try and make them feel like bitches, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. And um, but then when it was time to hit for him to go to jail, he got pardoned by Trump. Yeah. So well, he couldn't last a day in the same f that he was exactly. putting people in, and that's Crazy. a hypocrite. And I don't f with hypocrites. So we were talking about Ten City, and they say you have stories to tell about it. Oh yeah, Ten City, man, that was well, that was one of the worstest ones out here. What was it like? What'd you experience? Ten City. Man, I was in Ten Cities uh, in, in the winter time, so it was raining, uh, windy, motherfucking flaps going up, holes in the tents. We had to move the fucking bunks. No matter what race it was, we had to move the fucking bunks and work together. You know what I mean? Because we was we was basically living outside, motherfucker. We had to uh, cover ourselves with like nine blankets. Did anyone die from those conditions? I mean, shit. A lot of people that died from them conditions, and, and yeah, you know that's what crazy. I mean, but Jarrah Pye was having fucked up for a, a while, he had his camps. outside, like, Jarrah Pye, he was a, a marked man in Arizona for a long time, he outside, had to leave the safe, yeah, yeah, and basically, he had to, basically, but, because he's a magic, I could imagine, put a few bands in the street Arizona on his head, and that guy's disappearing, huh, it'll have to be more than that, but, do you guys agree with this, most of us in this country think that mainstream media is both they're dividing the country. Do you agree yeah, with for that? For sure, for yeah. sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They're trying to make definitely us believe tell. something that we that we shouldn't. Yeah, for sure. Know? So why do you think they don't tell us the truth? I can't even answer that, to be honest, That's bro. That's that Illuminati <laughs> That's that Illuminati <laughs> for sure, for yeah. sure. Do you think there's a a bunch of elites that kind of meet and decide the fate of the country? The uh, kind of Illuminati Man, conspiracy? Yeah, I, know, I, know, I, know, I know you've seen the Super Bowl. I know you've seen the Super Bowl. This year? You've seen that shit. Oh, the they put it in your face right there. Oh, dang, I mean, they stay putting that shit in I, 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 like I don't remember that. In a lot of games for music now, they're like, <laughs> that we don't fight, we just shoot. What do you guys think about that? Yeah, Rihanna I doing that on the front. I got a scenario in the mouth. for you right, right now. Right. He's seeing this up. <laughs> what happened, Snake? And instead of him shooting him, he knocked him the f*** out. On the game. Which, so, which to me is a better solution. I but to me, I could have blamed his dumb ass. I could have blamed his dumb ass. But my man's had a right state of mind. Blam. He said, "Are you guys security?" Yeah, security. Hello, sir. How you doing? My name is Tommy. I'm from Milwaukee. Oh, he's doing documentary for me. Here on documentary. Oh, sorry. <laughs> he about to call the cops. <laughs> right. in Hitler right now. Super How you doing? cold. Yeah. Sir, what is it like when you're just in your house and all of a sudden a squadron of young men walk around like this? Well, it um, makes me inquisitive. Yeah. Certainly. I kind of want to know. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I think you have components <laughs> that you would come out and ask because I know. I'm not afraid of you guys, man. <laughs> if you look armed, he might be. Either that or he's glad to see me. <laughs> no, something to think about, guys. If you were home and 20, 30 guys toting pipes came in front of your house. Would you walk out like that, man? I feel like that man's pretty brave. I give that man props, you know? Does anyone here know what non-binary means? Non-binary. They're doing it on college campuses where they say that they're a they, them. These boys have been showing us good hospitality, so I got a little something to keep them warm during the cold desert nights around here. Hell yeah, you know. Look at that. I'll, a hand warmer. This is for you guys. Hell yeah. I'll I'll pack my whoever or get one. Get one. Just don't do any bank heists in those, okay? <laughs> I speak with the grandma of one of the guys in the crew to hear her thoughts on gangs, street life, and violence. So tell us about where we are right now. We're on the west side of Phoenix. Okay, how have you seen it change over time? Well, when I first moved in here, it was okay, but later on, it's Lots of uh, gangs and shooting, graffiti. And was it was it like, yeah. like having grandsons or, or sons like running the street? Like, what does it make you feel as a mom or a grandma? Okay, before they used some one or two of them used to live here with us, and now they live they live somewhere else. So I'm glad for that. But I mean, at the area they're at, it's the same thing. So yeah. what does it make you feel though? Is like a is a because mom or mean? grandma what? can lead the family, right? So like, does it make you feel nervous or scared? Or? Nervous, scared at times. That oh, so her, her kids moved out. Living room. So they she don't know what's gonna happen. Also hit with. I don't know if it was bullets or a BB gun, they, my husband's truck, just so, drive-bys, you know. So what do you think could be done to make things safer and That's better? tough. Just keep those bad people out of the streets, mm -hmm. you know, and... What's your hope for the future? My hope for the future is that everything gets better than what it is now. Have ki the, ki the kids, you know, stay in school instead of being out here and doing things that they're not. Hey, they all sound good. Any other final thoughts you'd like to yeah, say? I'm trying to listen, bro. Uh, <laughs> yeah. 
They don't okay. be trying to listen to that. They always sound good. No, I'm, okay. well, I'm always careful. Yeah. <laughs> Shout you. out grandma. So if I don't own a gun, you think I should buy one? Hell, Hell yeah. yeah. I'm All thinking about getting one for my house. I, I never travel with them. You gotta Hell travel yeah. with just, I'm saying, no, just protect yourself, gang. I ain't gonna lie. And protect your family at all times. Where, where you from, though? Milwaukee. Protect you, yourself you, at all times. Hey, so y'all ever heard of Kill Boys? Y'all from Milwaukee. That's, I made that documentary. You made the documentary of Kill Boys? Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> shout, out my, shout out to the Kill Boys. I'm going <laughs> Does anyone here think they have PTSD? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I live with that shit, bro. <laughs> That's shit in real life. I'm from That's Chicago, bro. I didn't That's know real. so many shootouts, bro. Hey, growing up around here, most of them got PTSD. Just Hell growing yeah. up in the streets. That's yeah, yeah, like that shit really f with you, bro. Like, start getting hot, cold sweats. Like, what the f out of nowhere? In your like, sleep? In your Ooh. sleep, that's yeah, serious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is how we take care of our PTSD. Yeah! <laughs> Lights out! That's the primary bear one. AK74U, that's tough. Yeah. That's that primary bear one. That's okay. my hood. They extended Phoenix mag. certified right now. That's my other son right there. That's uh, Gigi's little brother. No, it's not. Yeah. That's what put up? Yeah. He's a motherfucker crazy. He be making music too. He's a crazy man. Oh, yeah. My boys, they're, they're <laughs> I mean, there. everybody is in the wrong way. Think about it. Yeah. my twin right here. That's my, my big dog. Oh, you. Where are you from? Yeah. What? Yeah. That's enough there. Yeah. You got your face. Six or two, my face. Six or two. That's an area code. Yeah, it's my yeah. area code. That's where we from. How old were you when you got that tattoo? Eighteen. So you fucking committed to this life, huh? Yeah. You said you committed to this life. Yeah. Hey, nigga, that shit on his face though. Right under his eye. Yeah. Describe the place we're at. This, this, they, this, all that shit. Describe the west side. Describe the west side. Get real, get real cold on a summer day. You feel me? Are you scared of all getting locked up? You don't care about years of your life? No? He wildin', huh? Get shot by shoot for fun. Hunter run, run. Fuck where you from? Block. Block some big ass shoppers. We kick, we kick your boat. You ain't getting no baller. We up next. Yeah, I dream about it, ballers. Just make 10 bands up a play in a different about that song. Man. This pussy boy uh, chopping down, but y'all ain't good. Right. That chopper gets a bust, and if you try to come my way, 7100 shit. Yeah, to the gang. Free slum, free many low. What message do you have to the people back hey, home? Hey, hey, uh, gang, y'all better check in when y'all touch down in my city and fuck all the ops. Y'all know how we rock. Pop hey, I ain't time. up next. I've been up, boy. You talking about? And I've been up on all different levels. Fuck you mean? And I've been up <laughs> as a young I'm 10 plus in the game. I'm a young nigga, 10 plus in the game. Y'all ain't with me. What's up, big dog? I'm talking to you. Bro, billionaire black, bro. How are you, bro? Nice to meet you, man. What's going on? Man, you're dead. I was gonna stay in my burner. Look at the you're gone. What's up, man? I got you out here in those trenches. I think you're under black. Describe this area. Describe this area. I'm from Chicago, man. You feel me? Like, I'm from 63rd. You feel me? Like, I'm billionaire black. Yeah, 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 like, Everybody he really else, show love and be outside. Like I feel like, I feel like if you show love, you, show you can yourself. go anywhere in the world. Yeah, he yeah, really, show love that's and he really do. be outside. This ain't no fake yeah, shit. This yeah, ain't no goofy shit. Yeah, we outside, we politicking, yeah, man. Yeah, we about to faint. Yeah, yeah, everybody thinking this shit sweet because they see um, palm trees and good weed and shit, bro. They don't know you hit the wrong streets like this. You see niggas like this out here, you feel me? You feel me? For like eat you down here, you feel me? You got to be careful where you go. Everything ain't going to seem out here, you feel me? Like, that nigga just desert and that's nah, man. It's real, it, it's real members out here, man. For sure that, for sure that. We had a good time. We had great hospitality. We had a little adventure. We walked the block. We walked many times. Oh, yeah, he's speaking fast though. That's how every uh, that's how every uh city is for real, for real. If you take the wrong turn, or you go down the wrong way, you might you might see something you might not expect. You know, they, you might just been in the city. You know, all of a sudden, five minutes later, you like what the. Anyways, um, that was a cool video, man. Shout out Tommy Jesus, fire YouTuber, and uh, yeah, click the next video over here. Follow Twitter. Peace.